So today we want to automatically convert TypeScript into Swagger Docs. For those coming from Python, if you've heard of Fast API, you know the best thing about it is the auto types generation. Just define your type, create your route, and hiya, your types are generated. But if you try that in TypeScript, your code will look something like this, or this, or this. And this is all pretty wet, and indeed making me moist. Little things like defining strings twice, or having to learn JSON schema, to having to manually write the documentation yourself. It all ends up being very difficult and tedious to manage. So our goal today is to create a dry interface to define types using just TypeScript, automatic documentation generation, and automatic input validation. So let's get started. So the main reason why existing backend frameworks end up being very wet is because TypeScript has no type reflection. So what is type reflection? In other programming languages, even at runtime, we are able to get some information on types. But you see, when TypeScript is transformed into JavaScript, all of the metadata disappears. Within the JavaScript that runs, it doesn't know or care that the variable person is supposed to have a name, age, or gender, which is why Nash.js uses decorators. But in the end, you still end up writing everything twice. So how can we avoid this? Well, we had a few ideas, the first being Babel. Babel is a code transformer, and it converts code to an abstract syntax tree, passes it, and converts it into anything you want. But Babel is pretty scary, and not gonna lie, every time I see a project with Babel RC, I go, what? So no thank you. Next up is the TypeScript, which allows custom TypeScript compilation, so what we could do is add a plugin to the TypeScript and somehow save the types. But then, everyone would have to use the TypeScript's TTSC instead of the usual TSC. What if users want to use tsnode, or tsnode dev, or babel for that matter? What we need is a fully universal solution that will work regardless of whether the user is using babel, tsc, or whatever. Given the same tsconfig file and source code, it needs to have a consistent output. And that was when we found tsjson schema generator, which could directly detect types and convert it to json schema which could directly be used in our application. With that out of the way, it was time to move on to the implementation. So if we have an interface of person, we can create a schema generator. Then using the schema generator, we can get the schema of the person by the name of the interface. And voila, there we have it. So for this particular implementation, we want it to work for Fastify. So first we add Fastify and Fastify Swagger, which automatically generates the documentation. Then we obtain the schema from the schema generator and use it for both route validation and automatically generating the docs. But the problem with this is that we can't programmatically get the name of the schema since the schema is defined in TypeScript, which is where we got stuck for several hours until... And with that simple change from interface to class, we were finally able to obtain the name of the schema while still having proper TypeScript types. And now that we are able to automatically generate our docs and have type validation, it was time for the full implementation. For the final implementation, we implemented it as a feature for Easy Backend, the backend framework we are working on to make backend development easier for everyone. So if you want to create an endpoint for swapping a person's gender, now, just by specifying the body and reply, we can have type safety within our routes. Also, if you open up the docs, you can see that everything is properly defined and working as expected. You can even test your endpoints directly from the Swagger, so you don't have to open a separate window for Postman. Finally, if people try to be funny and input invalid values such as Apache helicopter, the input validation prevents any internal errors from occurring. The final feature is that schemas are only generated during development. And if no EMV is set to production, it will instead use the schemas as defined in the schemas folder, which immensely reduces startup time. So this feature has already been released for Easy Backend. So if you are interested in using it, you can just directly use it from the Easy Backend NPM package. And if anyone needs a full tutorial on how to implement it for Fastify or Express or Nash.js, do leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. If you have any other cool ideas or suggestions for Easy Backend, do let us know. It's an open source framework, so any collaboration is welcome and appreciated.